Good morning. Welcome to the Words of Hope. I'm Art Velasquez, your host today. We will talk about the humility of the Master. In the scripture, it says, If I, then your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. John chapter 13, verse 14. What a shocking scene this is. Even the disciples who had watched Jesus touch lepers and heal cripples and eat with sinners were unprepared for this parting command and example. The night before Jesus' horrible trial and crucifixion, he took time to eat supper with his disciples and instruct them one final time. But after supper, he got up from the table, took a towel, poured water in a basin, and began to wash his own disciples' feet. Peter was so taken aback at the sight that he insisted Jesus would never wash his feet. The idea of this Lord and Master bowing in front of him and performing his menial service was unthinkable. When Jesus had completed the task in spite of their protestation, he then commanded that they in the future do the same for one another. If I, who am your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, there is no pride or repulsion that should keep you from the same service. What about you? Are you too good to do what Jesus did? Are you too proud to bow and serve like Jesus? This service of washing one another's feet is clearly Jesus' intimate symbolization or symbolizing more than just kind words or pats on the back. It means a willingness to exhort and encourage and admonish one another toward a holy life. And to receive such exhortations ourselves, it means a willingness to get our hands dirty if need be in order to help one another. Are you shocked and offended at the idea of your Lord rolling up his sleeves and bowing down to serve others or are you inspired by it as, uh, uh, as Jesus meant for us to be? God bless you. Until next time, God bless you. Shalom.